Atlas needs Fitz. And, and through he's done it. And I guess that's what caught Johnny Chicotto out this morning. Just an example, perhaps, of things to come. Oh, 76 car. That hit the wall, got in. Oh, oh no. no, Jimmy Richards has hit the wall. This is uh, the kind of send-off, and I don't want to... Oh, no. Oh, oh no. I don't want to be unkind to Winfield and the Nissan team, but the punter's at the top of the oh, hill. This is the kind God. of send-off they wanted. Steva, and the big eights are back. Ford versus Holden, and the fans are expecting a real showdown for supremacy on the Mount Panorama circuit. Joining the Seven Network's coverage is Chris Economaki, the voice of American sport. For four decades, he's covered every major race from the Indianapolis 500, Daytona, and Formula One. And Chris joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Neil. Chris, I'm one of those people that owns a car, I drive it to work, it's practical, but I know nothing about cars or car racing. Give me some good reasons why I should go to the big race. Well, firstly, to learn about racing, of course. But the one thing that's really great about the 2 is 1000 that the cars themselves are quite close to whatever it is you drive. In most parts of the world, the cars are very special, high-tech, expensive, space-age materials. These are production sedans that have been modified for safety, and they put out on the track to race. So you really get a look at what your car can do on the racetrack. How does this race compare to, say, Daytona, Indianapolis 500, those sort of events? Well, it's the same type of an event in that the stature it holds in this country. It's a major event here. The Indy 500 and Daytona 500s are major races in the United States as well. But as a spectacle, how does, how does Bathurst compare? To, to your mind, from your experience, you've been around a long time. Well, that's true. At Indianapolis and Daytona, the people sit in grandstands and watch the cars and, uh, do their stuff in front of them. Here at Bathurst, it's a road circuit. You can go up in the mountains and sit down and watch the techniques of the drivers in one turn and then pick up and go to another corner where there's a lot of braking and watch the techniques there, how the cars perform. So really it's a much greater variety for the spectator here than we have in Indianapolis and Daytona. And this year we've gone back to the big V8s. Do you think that's a good move? Oh, there's no question about that. Horsepower is what makes it in, in automobile racing. The sound is wonderful and the competition the battle between <coughs> what I would say in our country, Ford and Chevrolet here, it's Ford and, and Holden. It, it's a natural appeal. It's the two biggest motor car companies around, and they're at it tooth and nail. And you've got the spectators, you know, barracking for either side. Well, you know, people wear labels on their clothes of Ford, Holden. They be, they're fans of the brand as much as they are of the drivers. Bathurst has been described as one of the best circuits around. Is that is that true, or is that just a bit of local hype, do you think? Well, I tell you, <clears throat> what makes a circuit good is its difficulty. And Bathurst has a lot of difficulty. It's got several turns. It's got a tremendously long straightaway that strains the everything. It strains the engines. It strains the brakes. And I'll tell you something. It strains the driver's bravura. You have really got to have what it takes to let that thing get down that hill sure. as fast as it will go. I, when I first got there several years ago, I said, if the guy misses the last turn, he'll knock the town of Berthast over. <laughs> and uh, any favorites? I mean, it is a big race, you know, <clears throat> Ford versus Holden. What do you think? Well, you know, I'm really not prepared to say because I haven't studied the, what's happened here. One of the problems that the drivers are going to have is the whole series of races leading up to it have been very short. It's only been one endurance race, the Sandown 500, and now we've got a race that's 621 miles. So it's going to be a surprise for everybody. I, I think, like Dick Johnson in the Ford, he got that racetrack figured out, I think. This is a very serious business, I mean, often very dangerous business, but it must have its lighter, lighter side. You must have met quite some wonderful characters. Oh, it's a, it's a wonderful sport. It's, what's nice about it, it's wholesome, it's clean, there's never been a touch of scandal. And what's really nice about it is that over the years it's become more safe. It used to be quite a dangerous sport. We went to a lot of funerals in the old days, and we don't do that anymore, and that's nice. Chris Economaki, thanks for your time, and have a great time at the race. Come up and watch. Okay, thank you. We'll be back with more of 11am after the break.